Hello everyone, my name is Parangis Johari. I am postdoctoral researcher at University of São Paulo. I am here to present to you about capability of Lie algebras. I explain main tools for detecting capable V algebra, especially nilpotent V algebras of class two. A Lie algebra L is called capable if L is isomorphic to center factor of some Lie algebra. Another concept is useful for the detecting capability is a central extension. The epicenter of a Lie algebra as the, is defined by using central extension. As you can see, the capability of L is, equal, is equivalent to zero epicenter. For example, I assume that an abelian Lie algebra of dimension n are denoted by a n. a1 is not capable so the epicenter of a1 is equal a1 if l has a center center trivial center so l is capable and the epicenter of l is trivial Here you can see that the definition of exterior exterior square of L. It is a quotient of a non-abelian tensor product of L. Another definition is useful for detecting capability is exterior center. As you can see, the exterior center is related the exterior square of L. It is shown that L is capable if and only if the exterior center of L is zero. So the exterior center of L is equal the epicenter of L. For example, Heisenberg Lie algebra of dimension 2n plus 1 are denoted by hn. h1 is capable, so the exterior center of h1 is equal to the epicenter of h1 is 0. h2 is not capable, so the exterior Score then the center the exterior center of H2 is equal epicenter of H2 is equal derived subalgebra of H2. By using the definition exterior score, the, the exterior center of L is defined. This leads uh, us to use simple calculation for finding the elements of exterior center by using presentation of the algebras. It is useful for detecting non-capability. Another tool for showing capability is the shore multiplier. As you can see that the shore multiplier is in, uh, is related the free presentation of a Lie algebra. There are two important results. 
here we can see that how we can use of the shore multiplier for detecting capability of of the algebra uh, let l be a Lie algebra and l be a central ideal of l then n is a sub algebra of the exterior center of l if and only if the natural map between short multiplier of n and short multiplier of the factor of l by n is a monomorphism and another results is a, about the capability of a finite dimensional Lie algebra as you can see so for example we claim that abelian Lie algebra of dimension n for n2 n bigger than bigger than 2 is capable uh, let i uh, be ideal of an a n so uh, we can see the calculation of the shown multiplier of the factor and then uh, a n so by using the corollary corollary and we can conclude that a n is capable for the for an, an any dimension bigger than two right now we want to talk about capability of nilpotency algebras of nilpotency class 2 a Lie algebra L is a called generalized Heisenberg of rank K if L2 is equal to the center and then is isomorphic to a abelian Lie algebra of rank K of dimension K. Notice that generalized Heisenberg Lie algebra of rank 1 is the Heisenberg Lie algebra of dimension 2m plus 1 it is denoted by hm it is shown that uh, an in dimensional abelian Lie algebra is capable if and only if uh, n bigger than 2 and the uh, Heisenberg Lie algebra is capable if and only if m is equal 1 In our work, we gave a necessary condition for the capability of the nilpotent Lie algebras of class 2. We know that every nilpotent Lie algebras of class 2 can be decomposed, a generalized Heisenberg Lie algebra and Abelian Lie algebra. Uh, so L is isomorphic to H plus a h is a generalized heisenberg and a is a abelian Lie algebra so the capability of l is equal is equivalent the capability of h so we just need to check that the capability of a generalized heisenberg Lie algebra It is proved that in, uh, if L is a capable the algebra of class 2 such that and the derived sub algebra has dimension 2 then the dimension L has upper bound and lower bound between 3 and 7 
There is a classification of all capable Lie algebra of class 2 which derived subalgebra of dimension 2. As you can see, uh, this uh, Lie algebra. Finally, in another work, we could obtain the upper bound of a center factor of any capable Lie algebra of class 2 with derived subalgebra of dimension k. Thank you for your attention.